fight coming up next. It's a UFC middleweight division fight. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Try to establish that jab. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Missed with that attempt. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Massive knee to the body land. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Defense there as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Andy lands the knee to the body now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got the nice takedown land. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, he's got his back now. Four seconds for the end of round one. Hey, stop. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Ready, fight. Ready. Second round underway. Kick didn't see that one coming. Throw that hook. Just look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. Big body kick. Get up, get up. 
Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. And he landed the right hand there. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh, big knee! Signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. It's such a fast leg kick. <laughs> nice defense there, huge oh, That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big kick. Just so, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Him with a head kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Chase that finish down. Big knee to the body. Body kick 
is blocked. Was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of it. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that.